Holy pile of cuberries. Look at this, you guys. Well, I guess the hen hens are pretty happy. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Slime Rancher, where we are gathering up a bunch of food to give to our very hungry slimes, and then we are gonna be headed off to the moss blanket to check on how our apiaries and possibly the drills I forgot I stored over there are doing in our search, our ever-continuing search for another strange diamond. If we get a strange diamond, we will be able to set up a very nifty, handy, dandy teleportation warp system to be able to take us into the heart of the glass desert, which would be fantastic because as it stands right now, I have one very, very long walk in order to get ourselves all the way over to the glass desert. <sighs> but we'll have to think about that another day. For now, we're going to dash over here. Need to see how Her Royal Majesty is doing. So, Her Royal Majesty, instead of His Royal Majesty, King Honeymint, Her Royal Majesty, Queen Rose Quartz, is doing quite well with the food, it seems. And how's she doing on her port? Okay, good. Oh, whoa, okay, we've got to take off some of the purple ports, but that's okay because we always need purple ports for things over in the slime science section. So, we'll take those over there. Unfortunately, I do not have a lot of food for the sears because I forgot the sears actually eat uh, vegetables and I've been feeding them fruit this whole time I'm sorry Sears have some carrots all right at least you guys can get that much from me for today and then let's see I'm gonna triple 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 check to make sure we don't have a strange diamond hiding anywhere in here but we sure as heck don't we do have one royal jelly but that's the only rare thing that we've got over in this corner ah so frustrating because I know so many of you guys were excited that we had a strange diamond stored up and let's see, we'll give these guys some mint mingos. There you go, guys! Could definitely use your hunter plorts to sell, but pretty much soon we're going to be replacing both of these corrals with mosaic slimes. Another fantastic, absolutely awesome, and beautiful slime that I would love to collect, but it is going to be one heck, one heck -a doodle of a very long walk to the glass desert from here. So hopefully we'll find that strange diamond today. That's my, like, I guess the, I could kind of understand how prospectors feel now. The kind of people who go prospecting for gold and then they get really obsessive and they just think about, like, the gold. Where's the gold? I know the gold has to be here. It's here somewhere. We're going to break our riches any day now. And I feel kind of like that. All right, let's jump up here. Got plenty of hunters. Let's grab some of these crystal plorts. I guess I know that we have more that we need to get in the 7Z Club rewards, but for now I'm okay with using all of these for slime science because we've got a lot of slime science creations to create. All right, here we go. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Oh, good. We do have some vegetables coming up. And let's go ahead and put all of these plorts into our slime science machine. And then we are going to be wandering our way to check on the drills. And maybe we'll get really lucky and this big gigantic walk all the way through the ancient ruins to the glass desert, then back so that we can hopefully bring some of the slimes home. Hope oh, maybe it won't have to happen. Maybe we'll get really lucky and just stumble on that strange diamond. So let's go ahead and check. Dun dun dun! All right, what do we have down here? A little apiary. We'll go ahead and let it spit its stuff out. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. What do we have over here? I could have sworn we had a Gordo trap over here, but I think I moved it. Is that all we had? Where the heck are the drills then? I only have like three drills over in the quarry. All right, we're gonna go and settle this. I feel like the the quarry is stilling my drills and it's really hard to come all the way back here to check in on these guys. Diamond, diamond. Darn it, no diamond. All right, come on, let's give me a diamond. Darn, oh, okay, I'm gonna be so thrilled when we actually get a diamond though. All right, well, that's okay. That's okay, a few fossils, indigonium, jello stone, not bad to have. And I think the drills are actually at the entrance to the quarry, so I think I need to make a jump. Let's wiggle down here. I'm pretty sure, oh, I love it when they do the fireworks when you walk past them again. The uh, treasure pods, that is. I'm pretty sure that if I come over on the other side, I think I left the drills. All right, and ooh, oh my, there was a boom slime just as I was getting ready to make the jump. Eh. All right, anything down here? I'm pretty sure I've gathered, oh yeah, there's that weird tunnel down here. Totally forgot about that tunnel until just now. I can't remember what's down here. Hello, hello? I think it's just another way to pop over onto the other side of 
the quarry, if I remember correctly. Oh, I love those little patches of crystals. Ah! Okay, let's see. And then there were a whole bunch of hen hens over here. Okay, yeah, this didn't really lead anywhere. I remember now. Darn, I wonder where on earth I put those other drills. I, I bet I put them in a spot where I was like, this sure looks like we're going to get lots of diamonds. What a wonderful spot. I will totally come back and remember this is the spot that I left this so that I can get the diamonds. Oh dear. <laughs> I should always keep them just in easy to see, easy to reach places or I, I just, what, what else do I expect from myself? Knowing me. Knowing me. All right. Come on, Siri. You know better. All right, let's come this way. And I think I can actually make the jump to get all the way back to the entrance. Was it this way? Yep, yep, yep. Hey, maybe that's them. Hello there, little drills. Or at least drill. Okay, okay, this is gonna be it, guys. This is gonna be that moment where we're going to veer off track of, I wonder where the strange diamond's going to be. And this is going to be the like, oh my goodness, look at this. Now I can put it on the thumbnail. Woo! That's it's I'm I'm all right. Come on. Come on. Photo opportunity. No. Oh well, at least we used up one of the drills. <laughs> all right. So that guy is gone. Oh, uh, oh my. <laughs> we appear to have drilled up a rock slime. That's adorable. And we do have some pumps over here. I actually 100% forgot about, so it's probably good to take care of them too. But from now on, we're going to try to keep the drills a lot closer to home because I think that they're actually going to be able to give us a strange diamond um, uh, of a much higher likelihood of giving us a strange diamond if we keep them like right next to our ranch or right in front of our ranch instead of all the way out here. Out here, they're going to be yanking up that indigonium like no tomorrow. So, all right, let's go ahead run past the angry slimes. I, if you guys wonder where I'm dashing, yeah, those guys. Very angry slimes behind us. Do I have anything over here? Was that a dancing machine? No, that was just a tabby slime. All right, so like this spot over here is a much better spot to possibly put down for strange diamonds, I was told. So we're gonna go ahead and put it close to home so that I remember where they are, the advanced drills, and where to like come back and check on them more often. All right, and I can put an advanced pump down here, but not a drill. Darn, ugh. All right, well, at least we've got one down where I'm probably gonna find it again. And a whole bunch of Primordi oil, jelly stone, indigonium. I guess the Primordi oil can go with the sears. We can just give it to them to play with until we actually need some, which is gonna make it a little bit of a pain to collect up these resources again when we actually need them in the future because they'll be in a slime pen. But it's a lot more, see, it makes it a lot more enriching. You gotta think about enrichment for our slimes. Gotta give them plenty to do, plenty to keep busy. It's like having a fish in a fish tank and you don't give it any plants. You gotta give it some plants and something, something to keep uh, entertaining itself with. There you go. Enjoy, guys. That's so cool. I actually really like filling up the actual slime pens with different themed items, depending on what I think the slimes will enjoy the most. That's actually a lot cooler to me than it, because it looks like they can play with it and like roll around with it, than what we were doing with keeping it just inside of a little, um, a little pond like this. All right, so no luck with the strange diamond, but I really don't want to drag my feet waiting to get the tangle slimes until we have a warp to it. So I think what we're going to do next is we are going to go ahead and gather up a whole bunch of fruit. I'm going to carry on me because I think, uh, in fact, let me double check because I know, I actually do know of two gordos that we can pop over in the glass desert as well as the hunter gordo that we can pop over in the, um, over in the moss blanket. And let me see, mosaic slimes. They like veggies. <gasps> Wonderful. Okay, I need to back up. So we're going to get rid of the fruit I just picked up in one of our normal like slime areas. And we're going to get some veggies. We're going to fill up on vegetables. And we are going to take our delicious vegetables to the mosaic slime gordo. And we will pop the gordo and collect up the mosaic slimes all in one fell swoop. Sounds like a perfect plan to me. All right, well, let's gather up these. Tons and tons of mint mingos. All right, there we go. There we go. I guess I could feed these to Her Royal Majesty. Oh, we can go check in on Honeyman's Court. I know a lot of you guys are probably pretty curious about how Honeyman is doing. And we'll gather these out of the way. And then let's go find the very first vegetable we, we stumble on. Either inside. Dun, 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 dun. 
dun, dun, dun. either inside of my storage areas or because I had to have a storage area. I hardly ever use these though. I find them kind of boring <laughs> to just stick things inside the storage spot. So I, I only have like, yeah, I should probably just move everything from this one and demolish it. And then we could put something cool like, um, I don't know, like we could put a, a storage spot for treasure or we could put a different kind of slime. We could put a different kind of garden right over here. But no vegetables stored over there. So let's go see if I can run into a wild vegetable real quick. Carrots will do. Oka oka will do. Let's see. Oh, carrots will do. All right, we'll gather up some of these. And then we'll go around collecting up carrots. And once I am totally full up on lots and lots of veggies, we can go and try. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. dun. We can go ahead and try to. Ooh, what's this? Hmm, these are the new slimes. Hmm, who wants to trade me this? Victor Humphreys. If we bring him two Tangle Slimes, three Dervish Slimes, and two Crystal Slimes, he will give us 11 Carrots, three Rock Plorts, and four Hen Hens. Victor, I don't mean anything rude by this, but that doesn't seem like a fair trade, sir. I think not. I think not. All right, so let's see. I've got carrots, I've got cuberries, I've got mangoes. I've got myself a little bit turned around trying to keep track of everything I'm doing. Note to self, don't ever wander around and just put down your important drills and things. There we go. Growing trees. Don't just put down your important drills and things like that in random spots. I wish there was a map you could pull up maybe to find out where the heck you stored some of your important things. All right, let's put this right here. And then this has been a fun experiment, but I don't know. I think I want to, I do want to try destroying this actually. Uh, oh, where, where is the button to destroy it? So let's go ahead and we're actually going to demolish this port and we're going to put a coop over here instead. And we're going to see what happens if I use a lower net to put a whole bunch of the mint mangoes and we might attract some of the tabbies inside of here a lot easier and then I can just come on in and suck up all of their there we go there we go and then I'll add in make it really appealing there how will they resist this amazing salad look at this fruit salad I have made for them this actually looks pretty cool and then they can jump inside very easily and hopefully all their plorts will stay in one spot right there so we'll come back to that experiment later all right oh carrots I need those Sorry, bubbies. I need those like really, really badly. All right, where's some more care? Oh, there goes the hen hens. All right, I think we'll go ahead and sleep. And sleeping will let us do two things. It will let us go ahead and make the day pass so we can gather up more carrots. And our drills should be ready to re-drill. And we can see whether or not, um, whether or not we're able to get a strange diamond from the drills we have out. And if not, we'll be one use closer to removing them from the spot they're in and uh, focusing on putting them somewhere I will actually remember where the heck they are. All right, let's grab these ones. Let's grab these ones. Don't need to collect too many today. All right, His Royal Majesty Honey Mint, how are you doing? <gasps> Honey Mint! I forgot to feed Honey Mint. Oh my goodness, he's no longer he's no longer able to just go and feed himself. I feel so bad. Oh my goodness, I just totally neglected to even think about that fact that now that I have contained Honey Mint, he needs a royal cook. We should give we should get somebody with a top hat and say they're like the royal the royal the royal cook of of some sort. All right, get over here, little tabby floors. You guys give me a headache sometimes to collect. All right, let's come on over. Honey Mint, how are you doing with your royal court? Is everybody still super happy? Here, have some food, a bouquet of, or like a little uh, banquet of food for you. There we go. And we'll put in their mint mangoes over here. Oh my. <laughs> and this is actually 100% full, so I need to collect these. All right, a couple more. At least if I drop plorts over here now. Oh, okay, can't drop these plorts. Not next to Honey Mint. So dangerous to have left these here. Don't you bump me! Ay 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 break! Tar out break! Hoi! No! Ah! Ah! Honey Mint! Honey Mint! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! There's another hunter plort! Oh my goodness! Kill it! Honey Mint! Honey Mint! You're okay! Oh my heart! Are there any more? Ah! Ah! I don't need that kind of non 
nonsense. <laughs> See, this is why I was like, uh oh, I better remove all of these, these hunter plorts. Yeah, yeah, they're getting out of here so that they never, they never grace this space again. Oh my gosh. That just about did me in, you guys. My poor little honey mint. What if he had died? That's, I could put him in that castle so I could keep him safe. And then, then, then we go and drop a hunter plort right next to him, and one of his subjects turns into some sort of terrible rainbow beast. Huh. All right, let's get rid of this hunter plort. Let's get out of here, hunter plorts. Oh my gosh. And the tabby plorts. <laughs> to be honest, guys, the tabby plorts aren't really selling for enough to really bother collecting. I think it's all in tangles, uh, tangle plorts from now on. I really think we shouldn't bother too much with the, um, with the tabby plorts and if I want to be more time efficient definitely just got to focus on those tangles Cool, oh, my heart all right you know what I want to build now you know what I'm gonna build you know what I should have built a long time ago that we should put in over to where we keep honey mint and all of his precious precious uh precious little ones we're gonna go and we're gonna build ourselves another hydro turret in fact, I've got the uh, the puddle plorts for it. I've been holding on to these puddle plorts for a long time. Gotta use them for something, right? What better use could I do with these puddle plorts than preventing another tar outbreak over in the royal apiary? Where my precious honey mint happens to be. Ugh. And here's some of the oka oka so I can feed bismuth. I feel really bad that we haven't fed bismuth sooner. And in the future, we can actually exchange one of the plots out here for one of these silver parsnip plots. So that that way we can feed the mosaic slimes we bring back uh, very, very well with their favorite food. All right, puddle plorts, in you go. We are going to be creating a hydro turret, if you please. Dun, dun, dun. All right, where is my... Hydro turret. Oh, I forgot about the potted tactus. How did I forget about the potted tactus? Probably because I don't have pepper jam. I think pepper jam is probably brought about by an apiary. I'm going to remember that. And the advanced gordo snare, which could be a lot of fun to play with, but we need to get silky sand and pepper jam. And I don't really want to put down things like the pumps and the drills in the glass desert until I have a warp pad out there. To get a warp pad out there, still need that strange diamond. But otherwise, we've got a whole bunch of the things that we need. Uh, and if I destroy one of my current teleporters, you have to rebuild them. And that means another strange diamond. So strange diamonds have just like shot up to the top of the list of one of the most important resources to find. All right, let's go ahead and make another Hydro Turret because uh, I would very much appreciate not possibly losing His Royal Majesty Honeymint to sudden death. All right, and I swear there's more Chikadoos. You put in one Rooster Roo and he gets some ideas uh, with my Hen Hens. And the next thing you know, I have large outbreaks all over the place. All right, and I can at least give these guys Oka Okas. Oh, I thought the Oka Oka was their favorite food. All right, hang on just a second. Uh, let's see slimes. Let's see the crystal slime the odd onion. That's right and odd onions are so hard to collect because they only grow Randomly in some of the garden patches with with uh, like carrots. So hmm. All right Well, I can throw the oka oka in there at least we'll keep the carrots because I need to feed Because I do need to go ahead and feed um that big old gordo Oh my gosh, I'm all I'm all skedaddled because I was so worried about honey mint. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna go get the hydro turret put in. I almost climbed on top of that tree while it was growing. That was an interesting experience. And then next time we're gonna gather up a ton of these carrots and head back towards the ancient or the ancient glass desert. It's because I have to go through the ancient ruins. We're gonna go through the ancient ruins, see one more time if I can find that echo net on my own or not. Then we're gonna go into the glass desert, pop open that beautiful mosaic slime, and then open up the gate so that we can come all the way back with the tangle slimes. It's gonna be a little bit of a journey, my friends. All right, everybody seems super happy. This plan is definitely working over here, it seems. All right, you guys, just remember, if you enjoy a fruit salad, please be sure to actually leave your plorts inside. And I'm gonna give the rest to His Royal Majesty, Honey Mint, who's still alive, miraculously, despite a, a tar outbreak that just about did me in. Oh my gosh. All right, and then we're gonna climb up here and I'm gonna put down, where it's like, it's like the cannons, you know what I mean? It's like the cannons that you have uh, for, for, um, oh gosh, what the heck did I just shoot? Who knows? 
But this is like the cannons that you have on top of your castles so that you can defend your castle. There we go. Our little turret, like an actual turret. It has been built. It's got to install itself for a little while, but then it can turn around and it can pay attention to any TARS that might show up. Better than nothing, that's for sure. All right, and I kind of, you know, you don't want to just make this place feel like a military installation. So do I have any decorations I can put down? Well, we could hide it. We can have some minty grass patches and some sponge shrubs. So might as well just put some of those down just because we can. Again, to kind of hide the fact that we do have some military gear now put into uh, the area. So it's hiding behind a bush and some grass. There we go, Honeymint. <laughs> this should keep you and your royal court safe. I have to remove the last of these terrible, terrible hunter plorts. <laughs> and now they should, they should be able to rest in peace and I won't have to worry my head off about them. All right, we'll gather these up. And then, all right, guys, next time, checking for the strange diamond. Digging up those, with those, by digging up those drills, we'll be digging up the carrots and we'll be heading back to the desert. I am actually super, super looking forward to this. I think this is going to be super awesome. And I'm very excited to go and see those tingle slimes again. I miss them. I miss them and I'm very excited for the day when they will be part of our ranch. So I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.